Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got a video for you about the new royalty weapons headed to Advanced Warfare. This is not the royalty armor that you see on the thumbnail, nor is this the Call of Duty camo that I have on my gun, and this is also not a royalty camo, but this is a new set of elite weapons called royalty weapons. I don't know if they'll be royalty elites or if royalty is its own category, but a lot of them have already been added into the game, and the stats are available. I don't know their names yet, but I will read you the stats of the royalty weapons. The only one that we do know about is the AK-20. Hall of Fame because Michael Condry was tweeting about it and briefly the AK-12 Hall of Fame as of right now has the exact same stats as the AK-12 finger trap same attachments and everything some of these will be the same as the base uh, elite weapon and some of them will be radically different for the Bell 27 the royalty version is statistically pretty similar to the Inferno not a huge difference between the two the HBR 3 is very similar to the bare fist Let's talk about some that are different. In the Royalty Amelie, we have a variant that I can't quite pin down because it's not statistically similar to hardly any of them. If anything, it's closest to the Red Shirt. It fires at 800 rounds per minute instead of 600, which is a huge increase over every other variant. But unlike the Red Shirt, it doesn't have any sort of view kick or long range damage decreases. It's actually going to be a pretty strong variant right there, just a flat rate of fire buff. The nerf on that one is you only have half the magazine, so you've got 50 rounds in your melee on the royalty one. I can take a look at the pie take royalty, or royalty pie take. That one is statistically fairly similar to the exploit right now. Uh, not a lot of development going on there, but it is in the game. In the shotgun category, we have an unusual one. It's going to be a high accuracy shotgun with 20% tighter hip fire spread, but pretty much all of the other base stats are going to be the same. When it comes to the Royalty S12, we have one with a very fast rate of fire, but unfortunately it comes with a wider hip spread. Let's move into the submachine gun category and see what we've got going on. We have a Royalty KF5, which statistically has all of the exact same numbers as the KF5 spanner. Not entirely sure why that is, but that is how it is. Royalty ASM-1 is very similar to the Speakeasy. The Royalty Moors is going to be statistically similar to the Doctor, except it does appear to have higher body shot multipliers and headshot multipliers. I guess that's going to mean better wall banging for this one in particular. And while it is not a Royalty weapon, the stats for the M1 Irons have been loaded into the game, and it looks to be an extremely strong submachine gun type weapon. It fires at 600 rounds per minute. It'll deal 52 damage up close. That means you can actually two-shot with this this weapon and three shot with it at longer ranges. It has extremely, extremely tight hip fire spread fairly large magazine and a large headshot multiplier. I have a feeling that this is going to be like the ultimate high damage low rate of fire submachine gun. It's probably going to be more like an LMG but with SMG handling. Very unusual. Again, I don't know the full names of all these variants. I don't know when they release or what DLC package that they're going to be in, but I'm assuming it's sometime soon. Typically when they start loading things into the game like this, that means we're a couple of weeks, maybe a month away at most until getting these third elites. And I hope that they're ones that you can unlock. Maybe it was a reward for league play, not league play, ranked play. Maybe it's something you get in a regular supply drop. I'd really hope that they're not advanced supply drop exclusive. That wouldn't be very fun. But do keep an eye open because we're going to have an M1 Irons launch and a complete set of new royalty weapons for, I think, every single gun in the game. Don't know when it's coming, but let me know when it's done. Guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll have more info for you available on this just as soon as I possibly can. Drifter out.